Yaman. Hey guys, today I'm gonna make for you Hello, my name is Miguel and today I'm gonna make for you grilled ham cheese sandwich So you're definitely gonna need some sliced ham and a couple slices of bread I'm using raisin bread and cheddar cheese you can use parmesan or mozzarella all right so now the cheese cut the cheese in strips or slices just enough cheese to put on a sandwich all right so next you can use hard old bread and you can use regular sliced bread but nothing to me like this raisin bread so I'm using this raisin bread as a substitute it's the same method you take a raisin bread and slice it in, in half now your ham slices use a knife and cut in the middle of the ham slices across we make the cross so that when it fries it won't um, swell and splash it won't swell and create a, um, like a slope and then when you try to move it it might splash and hurt you alright now put to heat a skillet pan alright put your stove's gauge on low almost off low but not too low oh no we're gonna fry the ham first so put a frying pan to eat or a skillet put your stove's gauge on four medium low this is a pan that I, I just made a sandwich with so make sure you add about a tablespoon between two of cooking oil coconut oil preferably alright after a minute and the oil and the cooking oil is hot enough for frying Add your arm um, slices. I know this part is a bit small, but I'm going to show you how I fry. It's allowed. Alright, it's been two minutes, so you just um, turn the ham on the side that's not frying, like you see me do. Because the pot is a bit small, that's so how you have to rotate it to make sure it's, everything is fried properly. If you notice on the ham, one side is cooked and the other side is not. So you just turn the side that's cooked on the inside, overlapping, and the side that's not cooked on the frying, on the pot, on the surface of the pot, allowing it to fry properly. Alright, so you just allow your ham slices to fry properly. Alright, after about uh, about a minute since we turn it, about 40 seconds between a minute, you just flip the arm now on the other side. And just allow it to fry. You 
it's been three minutes and the stove gauge is on four medium low all this time allow all right four minutes they're about the, the sizzling of the ham frying should get less that tells you that the ham is fried So now, put to eat a frying pan or a skillet, one of those flat surface skillet. I don't want one of those, so I'm using my pizza tray. It's a stainless pizza tray, just as good. It's a homemade grill. Just put it on the flame and allow it to get hot. Alright, make sure the stove's flame gauge flamed flame is gauged on low like this all right after a minute and it's hot you just put your bread flat on the grill in this case my raisin bread just put the cut side down flat on the grill use a spatula and flatten it on the grill and allow after three minutes use a spatula and and just kind of prize your bread up and it's looking it how it's toasting if it's if it's burning or how fast it's toasting all right, use a spatula and flatten it and allow. All right, it's been four minutes between five. Now we're going to flip it. But first, lay cheese on the toast on one on the toast on one of the bread the toast side put the cheese on and then you make the cheese and then you put the ham slices on the cheese and then you put cheese on the ham slices and then you lay two more ham, ham slices in my case and then place more cheese on top of that and then put the other slice of bread toast side on the sandwich and use a spatula with the sandwich on the grill now and now use a spatula and compress the sandwich down flat as flat as you can get it now just use some elbow grease and flatten it and allow it to toast so you see the ham is melting the cheese is melting so that's what you want all right it's been six minutes on that side 
Just use a spatula and flip your grilled ham cheese sandwich on the other side. And use a spatula to flatten the sandwich more. melting once the cheese starts running on the grill that's a sign to say it's ready all right it's been three minutes on that side eight minutes in all Seven between eight minutes in all and the cheese is melting and holding the sandwich together as you see so you just continue use your spatula and flatten the sandwich more all right so that's our grilled ham cheese sandwich look like it's ready Alright, it's been four between five minutes, five minutes there about, ten minutes in all, since you put the sandwich on the grill, this is what you want, you want it to be firm and toast. Alright, so I'm going to let it stay for about 30 seconds between a minute but it's pretty much finished but once the cheese is melted it's gonna start running on the grill so it's best if you just take it off now and serve it cut it and serve it alright so finish alright so now I'm gonna cut my grilled ham cheese sandwich in two pieces by using a knife to cut the sandwich in half boy this look good look at that Alright, so this is my grilled ham cheese sandwich. You're going to enjoy this sandwich. Visit JamaicaDinners.com, subscribe, like, and comment. Alright, let's taste this sandwich. This is my ham grilled ham egg grilled ham cheese sandwich all right now I'm ready to sample this sandwich all right so you just take a sandwich and give it a big bite for this method you can use bacon as well sandwich is is delicious it's a typical grilled ham cheese sandwich it's, it's delicious it's unique to America I think And this is a typical America's breakfast sandwich. Sometimes people have this sandwich for lunch. And some people, if they're at home in the nights and they want a sandwich and they know how to make a grilled sandwich, they do this too as well. I'm 
going to make some Jamaican sandwich which is going to be different. So look for those as well. Thanks to my fans, my subscribers. You have always been in my corner and you support everything, mostly everything I do. And you also encourages me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Whenever I put out a video, there's always a first 300 people that see that video right away. I know, I know those first 300 is like faithful to my channel. It's like always. The first hour, the first 300 people always watch it. At first, two years ago, when I had my other channel, when I put up a video, a thousand views would be on that video. But because I wanted to make some changes, I opened up a new channel and I'm now building this channel. Which is doing okay. Which is doing great. Alright guys, see you. Bye, enjoy, and subscribe. Yeah, man!